I'm Bill with Tandem Cross, making good guns great. Certain internal parts of your 22 lr firearm, like the firing pin or the extractor, for example, are what we call wearable parts, meaning that you should expect them to eventually break down and stop working well or stop working at all sometimes. And you will eventually have to replace them. Even on a firearm like the Taurus TX-22 that's pretty universally praised for its consistency, you will eventually start to experience things like light strikes or failures to eject because those wearable parts are breaking down. So if you're gonna have to replace the wearable parts eventually, why not replace them with the best? Like for example, Tandem Cross's new Eagle's Talon extractor for Taurus TX-22. The Taurus Eagle's Talon, like most of our extractors, is made from hardened tool steel for increased longevity and durability. It's also carefully designed an EDM machine for a sharper, more precise hook that grabs the round securely so your gun cycles cleanly every time. Generally, extractors are pretty easy to install, and this one isn't that hard, but it is a bit more complicated than your average 22 lr pistol. Still totally within the realm of possibility for an amateur or an enthusiast to do themselves, but you'll just have to be patient and pay close attention to this next part. For this install, you will need a thin punch and needle nose pliers, the needlier the better. I also recommend eye protection because there are spring-loaded parts that could go flying and potentially injure you. To start, as always, make sure your firearm is clear and safe. Then make sure your safety is off and dry fire it. Once the hammer is dropped, you can pull the slide back just a little bit, pull down on these tabs above the trigger, and the slide will slide forward and come off. Now remove the spring rod and the barrel and set them both aside. On the rear of the slide here, you'll see a plate with a hole in it. Insert your punch into that hole and depress the spring and detent that's inside and you will be able to slide this rear plate off. Be sure to trap that spring and detent before it comes flying out. It is under spring pressure, so you'll want to be careful and maybe point it away from you while you do this. But then you can remove that spring and detent and set it aside too. Now you can slide out this black plastic block. The block is actually several pieces, and to save yourself a few steps at the end, you should try to keep them all together as they come out. If you set the block on its side like this with the little plate and spring facing up, its own weight will hold it together as you carefully set that aside and leave it alone for now. But I will show you how to reassemble it at the end in case it falls apart on you. Now on this metal block that remains inside the slide, you will see a little spring and detent poking out. Use your pliers and pull that right out. Then grab your punch and stick the punch into the hole that the spring and detent came out of. If you push the punch into that hole, you will see the extractor shift forward a bit. Now what you gotta do is kinda wiggle it around with your finger and the punch just to jostle a little bit, loosen it up. And then you will be able to reach in through the ejection port with the pliers and pull the extractor right out. It may still take a little bit of wiggling and turning it, and you may also find that turning the slide over and shaking or tapping it will help. But you should be able to get that extractor out pretty easily. Now grab your new Eagle's Talon. To get the right angle for reinsertion, I recommend orienting the extractor as shown and grabbing it by the tip with the pliers so that you end up with about a 120 degree angle between the extractor and pliers. Then reinsert the extractor into its slot through the ejection port. 
The best way to approach this is probably to rotate it into position with the pliers and then use your finger to push it all the way down in from the other side. Now you can see the extractor is back in place. So now you have to reinsert that small spring and detent. Make sure it's oriented as shown or else it won't fit correctly. When installed fully incorrectly, you will see only three to four coils poking out. If it's not installed right, you will see five to seven. Now we have to reinsert the plastic block. If you manage to keep it all in one piece, you can skip about two and a half minutes ahead. If yours fell apart though, keep on watching. This is actually five pieces all in one. Two halves of the plastic block, the firing pin, and then this small plate and spring. The two halves of the block are mostly symmetrical, and they fit together in a way that leaves this channel running through the middle of them for the firing pin to sit in. But at one end of one half, you'll see these little studs. And on the other half, you'll see corresponding holes that also help them fit and stay together. So grab the half with the studs and the firing pin. The firing pin aligns with the plastic piece as shown. So hold that firing pin in place, grab the other half of the block, and fit them together so that the studs go into the holes. The firing pin will still be able to move around a little bit. That's totally normal. Uh, don't worry about it. Just set it down carefully so it doesn't fall apart again. and grab that little plate and spring. In the middle of the plate, you will see a small stud. The spring just goes right onto that. It's easy enough. On the rear of the plate, you will see this larger plastic stud. And that goes into this hole on the side of the block. The spring presses against this ledge on the top of the block. And with that stud in the hole, the tension will hold it in place. Now that it's back together, you can slide it into the slide. When it's all the way forward, you should be able to feel a little bit of spring resistance there. Now, go back to this hole on the end of the slide and replace the large spring and detent. Use your thumb to depress it all the way down into the slide. And then you can slide that end cap back on.
Now grab your barrel and reinsert that. And reinsert your spring rod, making sure that the smaller kind of squared off end is the one that's facing forward, otherwise it won't fit correctly. Then you can reattach the slide to the lower. And if everything still moves the way it should, then you are good to go. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, be sure to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe and the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get notifications whenever I upload new videos. You can also find Tandem Cross elsewhere on the internet, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, you can find this Eagles Talon Extractor, plus a wide variety of other products for a wide variety of firearms at www.tandemcross.com. Until next time. Thank you.